It's a Monday PFT PM from the bar, and we've got Jaguars general manager Dave Caldwell coming up momentarily. Before we get to that, though, we need to say a few things about the late Don Shula, Hall of Famer, one of the great coaches of all time. And he was the man back when I discovered football in the 70s. And, you know, when you're a little kid, and for all you know, the Dolphins are a powerhouse, the idea that the Dolphins just kind of popped onto the scene in the late 60s and became that good of a team that quickly, that's unheard of back then. Those were the years of the five-year plan, the time that it took to develop and grow through the draft. You didn't have free agency. You didn't have other ways to make your team better quickly. And for Don Shula to take a team that was an expansion team and to turn it that fast into a Super Bowl team, a team that went to three straight Super Bowls, lost Super Bowl VI to the Cowboys, won Super Bowl VII after going 17-0, and still the only perfect season with a Super Bowl win on the end of it, and then winning another Super Bowl, Super Bowl VIII, and continuing to be a great coach. Even though they didn't win another Super Bowl under Don Shula, he would coach the team through 1995. He retired with a winning percentage above two out of three. So on average, he won more than two out of three games that he coached in the regular season. It really was an incredible run. And when you think back to the 70s, and, and again, for me, it's still vivid because those were the years that I discovered it, that I found it, that I realized it. And I looked up to these guys like Don Shula, Chuck Knoll, Tom Landry, Bud Grant, John Madden. And there are other great coaches from that era, Chuck Knox, Bum Phillips. I mean, there were so many great coaches in the 70s. George Allen, who was the coach of the Washington team that the Dolphins beat. It, it really was a special time in professional football, and the league was dominated by the Dolphins, then the Steelers, then the Cowboys, then the Raiders got their Super Bowl win, and there was a small handful of teams that really ran the show, and Don Shula in many ways was the godfather because he had that 17-0 season, and to do what he did as quickly as he did it with a team that was starting from absolute scratch. Now, Steelers fans would say that their franchise was so bad when Chuck Noll got there in 1969, it was basically the same thing. But Shula still did it faster, right? The year of the Immaculate Reception, the Steelers lost that next week to the Dolphins, who were on their way to that 17-0 season. So it, it was a, a great, great run for Don Shula as the Dolphins head coach. And it was very, very saddening to see that he had passed today at the age of 90. But it also brings back some great memories of football back in the 70s, a different time, a different place, and an era where the coaches were even more larger than life than they are today. And they are today to a certain extent, but maybe it's because I was a kid then, and, and now I kind of know these guys, and there's less of, a, uh, of this awe. But, but boy, back in the 70s, there was something about just the names, Shula, Noel, Grant, Landry, Madden. There was just something about that that inspired – both awe and, uh, and passion for football. So with that said, we're going to move on to Jaguars general manager Dave Caldwell, and then we'll see you back later this week for some more PFT PM. Up next, our interview with Jaguars GM Dave Caldwell. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.